Ding dong. Come in. The door's open. Hi, Molly. Hi, Cheyenne. How are you? I'm okay, I guess. Is something wrong? No, but I need to talk to Mary Grace. Well, she's in a room with her sister. I mean, I need to talk to her privately. Oh, okay. Well, when you go in the room, tell tell Mary Grace's sister Anna that um she wants to be you want to be alone with her. But is there anything I can help you with? No, no, thank you. I just have to talk to Mary Grace about it. Okay. Well, if there's anything I can do, no, there's nothing you can do. Check out this new song I downloaded on my phone. Let me see. Play it. Okay. Yeah, come in. Hi, Mary Grace. Oh, Cheyenne, hey. I didn't know you were coming over. Yeah. Um, and if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to Mary Grace alone. Okay, I'll go see what mom's doing. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. What's up with her? Don't worry about it. What do you need to talk to me about? My mom. What about your mom? Is she okay? <sighs> my mom just got diagnosed with brain cancer. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, is she going to be okay? I don't know. My mom's not exactly a teenager, and the doctor said the cancer is very hard to, to treat at her age. I'm really afraid I'm going to lose her. Well, I'll pray for her if you want. That's all I want. I don't want to lose my mom. But nobody wants to lose their mom. But I really don't want to lose my mom. She's the only family I have besides my foster sister. We can't make it there on our own. What if we get both get put in foster care and we get separated? Well, worry about one thing at a time. Maybe you won't have to go through that. Maybe, maybe you'll be lucky and your mom will be fine. Is she going to go for treatment even though it has risk? Yeah, but that worries me even more. What if the treatment makes her cancer worse? Well, you never know. I mean, if it does make it worse, she could always stop, can't she? I guess. I'm just really... I don't know what to do. I'm sorry to come here with my problems. No, don't be sorry. You're one of my good friends. And I'm glad that you have the openness to talk to me about this. Even though it hurts, I know it does. But it, the first step to making yourself better is apologize. I mean, talking about it. <sighs> yeah, but that's not going to make my mom feel any better. And that's not going to make the cancer go away. No. But it'll help you deal with it. I don't want to have to deal with it. I don't. I don't want to deal with it. You're going to have to. I know it's hard. No, you don't. Your mom's healthy. <laughs> Give me a... Give me a hug. <laughs> It'll be okay. I promise. <laughs> Do you want um to go on my computer and... No. I want to go home and be with my mom. Okay. Are you going to be okay? I think so. It's just a relief to tell somebody. Yeah. Well, listen, go home, take it easy, and call me if you have any problems. Well, yeah. Wow. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi, honey. Are you okay now? You you look like you've been crying. I was. Do you want to tell me what's going on? Anna, if she doesn't want to talk to me about it, why would she talk to you? Because I'm her best friend's sister. 
Okay, fine. I'll tell both of you. My mom just got diagnosed with cancer, brain cancer, and I'm afraid of losing her. Really? Yeah, so now you know. Where are you going? Home. Why did you get mad at me? Honey, she's just having a hard time. You'd feel the same way if I had cancer. Yeah, but I would have been reasonable about it. I'm going to go see Marie Grace's, okay? Okay. Hey, why aren't you playing on your phone? I'm worried about Cheyenne. She'll be fine. Her mom just has cancer. Just has cancer? Do you have any idea how serious cancer is? Especially brain cancer? Well, kind of, I mean... But I have faith that she'll get better. I really feel bad for Cheyenne. She really is struggling with this. Are we going to spend the whole day talking about Cheyenne? Look, I can't believe how selfish you're being. Me and Cheyenne are both upset about Cheyenne's mother. Why are you playing the victim card? You don't even know Cheyenne, Cheyenne's mother that well. But still, I grew attached, and I'm best friends with, with Cheyenne. And when she hurts, I hurt with her. And there's nothing I can say or do that's going to take this away. So why bother saying anything? Because Cheyenne needs to know that there are pe going to be people there for her, no matter what. I think she stole you from me. What are you talking about? Because ever since we, you met Cheyenne, it's Cheyenne this, Cheyenne that. When was the last time you and I went on YouTube together? Or when was the last time we went to the mall together? When was the last... Okay, I get your point. I don't hang out with you ever since Cheyenne came. Well, why, why don't you? What, what did I do? You didn't do anything. But I'm in junior high now. I'm not always going to have time for an elementary school girl. Thanks. You meant a lot to me, too. Look, Anna... Oh, just forget it. Anna! <sighs> As if I don't already have enough problems. <clears throat> I'm so angry! What's wrong, Anna? What are you so angry about all of a sudden? I've been angry. Okay, what have you been angry about? Ever since Marie Grace and, and Cheyenne met, it's like they don't have time for me. They're always off doing something together. And she, Mary Grace just said, please, I'm in junior high. I don't have time for an elementary girl. Well, I'll talk to Marie Grace if you want. But honey, she is growing up. She's becoming a woman. And I'm not. I'm going to be in junior high with her next year. I know, honey, but this year is just beginning. <laughs> She'll come to her senses. As you girls get over, this won't matter. But I don't want it to matter. I want it to not matter right now. I know, honey, but you're going to have to be patient. When you're both in middle school the following year, you'll be closer. Why can't we be close now? I don't know, honey. It's just, this is what every girl who has a younger sister is like when she starts middle school. No matter how different in age you are, the one going to middle school is the one who's going to feel older and more mature. I don't like Mary Grace right now. At least not this Mary Grace. I miss the old Mary Grace, the one who used to like me. Well, honey, why are you telling me? Why don't you talk to Mary Grace about it? Okay. Thanks, Mom. Welcome. Go talk to her. <sighs> Joys of motherhood. <sighs> hey, Mary Grace. 
Can I talk to you? Sir. I wanted to apologize. Okay. You did. Feel better now? No, I feel like... I don't feel better. I feel guilty. You know, I always thought you and I would be best friends. But just because I'm starting junior high and I have a new friend, you've been clingy to me. You don't give me a break. Well, if I'm so annoying, why don't you just tell me? It's not that you're annoying. It's just... I'm going to be in junior high. Yeah, I know. And he said you don't have time for elementary school girls. Look, I shouldn't have said that. But I'm just so wrapped up in Cheyenne and starting middle school and getting things ready. I've just been so wrapped up in all that. Yeah, but did you actually forget you and I are supposed to be best friends? I mean, there's no better best friends than two sisters. Yeah, I know. I know. I know I ignored you and I'm sorry. And I'm sorry your friend Cheyenne is upset about her mom. Thanks. Cheyenne will, Cheyenne will be glad to hear that. I just feel like that when Cheyenne comes over because you always want privacy. I feel like I'm getting kicked out of my own room. This isn't just your room. I know. I'm really sorry, Anna. I don't know what else to say. It's fine. It really is. I know you're growing up and I gotta respect that. I just miss you. It's like you have a new best friend. Look, you're my best friend, Anna. I am? Yeah, I mean, we may not be able to go through each other's closets because we're two totally different sizes. But there are lots of things I could do with you that I could never do with Cheyenne. Like what? Like talk about Cheyenne. And, um... We can't, me and Cheyenne can't have the private talks you and I have at night, even after mom says it's bedtime. Me and Cheyenne can't tell each other every single part of what's going on in our lives. Cheyenne's a great friend of mine, yes, but you're my sister and you're my best friend, even though I don't act it. Why don't you? I guess it's because we're both growing up and I don't know. But I am going to try harder to be there for you. I appreciate that. But don't you need to be there for Cheyenne? I'll be there for both of you. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Well, you did, but I'm glad you're apologizing and I think you really mean it. I do. Then I accept your apology. Now, can we watch videos on my laptop? Sure, go get it. Okay. Gosh, look at this video. Yeah, I know, it's really cool, isn't it? Come in. Hi, girls. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Listen, girls, I need you to get washed up. Dinner will be ready soon. Okay, five more minutes. No, I need you to get washed up now. We have to have a quick dinner because I have a real treat for you after dinner. Like what? Well, we'll go to Dairy Queen and have Sundays. But only if you wash up now and eat dinner and clean your plates. We'll be there in a minute. All right, hurry up. Dairy Queen. I know. Dairy Queen is my favorite ice cream place. Well, come on. If you want to clean, we better wash up. Okay, I'm coming.